Let us go to the last fact now. This says both skilled and unskilled workers tend to migrate from poor to rich countries or region. Isn't this obvious, beta? Jo bhi workers honge, chai wo skilled ho ya unskilled ho, whether they are skilled or unskilled, they will always migrate from the poor countries towards the rich countries in search of good salary, in search of good living conditions. Lucas suggested this fact in his one of his articles. Evidence can be seen from restrictions put in the rich countries on immigration. So, have you ever heard that, you know, US ka visa milne mein, it has taken many, many months. I haven't got the visa yet. Or, uh, you know, there are countries which, uh, for example, if you have to go on a Europe tour, okay, then in Europe, many countries will look at your bank statement. They will see what you are exactly doing. It's not very easy to go and get a visa only for the purpose of travel. Right? Uh, they will look at your salary, your salary statements, your intent, why you want to come and visit the place, everything. So, why are these restrictions in rich country? Mein? Because they fear that there will be migration of all poor people towards their country. Migration of labor reflects that real income must be higher in high income region than in low income region. So, migrate kyun kar raya labor? Because income is much more in the richer region as compared to the poor region. But there is an important puzzle that this question arises. So usually, a international economics ka ye theory hai that those countries where you, not countries, usual ek de de de, that if there is region A and region B, so in region A, suppose that there is scarcity of a resource then this resource will be more expensive in region A. And suppose there is plenty of resource in region B, so then this will become cheaper in region B. Ek example, uh, cal compare the price of water in India with that of Dubai. Huh? India ko hum yaha likh lete hai, plenty mein. Or Dubai ko hum yaha lit lete hai. Hmm? In Dubai, water is very expensive, believe me. Huh? And in India, it is cheap. Kyo? Kyoki it is available in plenty. And here it is not available bohat zyada. Thikhe? It's, it's a little scarce, right? Ab agar usi hisaap se hum developing or developed countries ko dekhe. To developing countries mein already jo skilled labor hai. That is limited not everyone is educated and developed countries mein jo skilled labor hai that is everyone is skilled everyone is educated literacy rate is high so shouldn't it happen that in developed countries wage of skilled labor should be less and in developing countries wage of skilled labor should be more because they are in scarcity to logo ko to yahan rehna chahiye fir skilled labor should stay in the developing country they should not go to developed country here wages should be more but that's not the case so this is a very big puzzle what is the puzzle the puzzle arises that factors are paid more where there are scarce if they are scarce in the developing country why are skilled worker paid in the developing country so I leave that to you to think about that why is it the case that the skilled labor are still paid less in the developing countries, right? So that was fact number seven for you. Okay, beta. Thank you.